What's happening, Networking Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this TrendNet AC2600 Stream Boost Mui Mimo Wi Fi router. And I picked this up because it was supposed to be a pretty good one and it was pretty cheap. Now, 2600 means uh, the transmission rate on both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band, I believe. So, uh, 1733 megabits per second on uh, Wi-Fi AC and 800 megabits on N. So, you know, I thought you've seen uh, me fool around with Wi-Fi repeaters and whatnot. Um, and as I was saying, I thought, you know, this might just be a better, more reliable way to go. Those repeaters are decent, but you know, anytime you're kind of taking a Wi-Fi signal and kind of repeating it, you just kind of lose stuff uh, in transmission. And I thought, why not hardwire this little bad boy and maybe give myself not only good signal kind of at the ends of the house, but also potentially, you know, near kind of the, a back wall so that I can actually uh, get a good Wi-Fi signal outside too. So, you know, as it start, starts to get warmer, looks like we've got four antenna, antennae here. And then we have uh, the, Power adapter, two prong, and then, oh, it does come with a, a cat cable, I'm not sure what speed, five or six, I'm guessing, cat five, so that's it, that's it, so that's what we've got in, in the box, um, so here is the receiver itself. You know, it's a nice looking thing. It's all plastic, but it has kind of this brushed stainless steel uh, look to it. Uh, antennas go in, you know, the brass fittings on the two, one on each side and two in the back here. Then we have power button, uh, reset button, Wi-Fi on and off, an actual um, uh, physical button to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. And um, power input, so then here we have WAN going in and then we also have some uh, ethernet ports so that you can actually wire things directly into it. Uh, two USB plugs here as well, LED on and off, WPS button there, and then another antenna button on the side. And we have some lights on the front here so you can tell what you know um, frequency you're broadcasting on. So, like I said, it's supposed to be pretty clever. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do here is just get it physically set up, get all these things, like all these antennae, screwed in here and then I'm going to connect it into um, directly into the router and then plug a computer my computer directly into it too to get what I'm hoping is the configuration set up and we'll take a look at that because I do want it to have a friendly network name and a memorable password so that you know not only can I connect things to this without always looking up those long random passwords that they give you when you subscribe to your internet service provider, but uh, my guests too can also get online without having major issues with it. So let's get it set up and take a look at what that looks like. Wireless router plugged into my cable modem and then I have my computer connected via that Cat5 cable into one of those uh, ethernet ports on the back. Once you open up your computer, if you go to TEW-827DRU, it takes you to this login screen and here you'll use admin as the username and your password is actually printed on the bottom of your wireless router. That's going to allow you to log in here and now we'll have access to our settings. So the great thing about it here is uh, the wireless network is really what I want to uh, make sure that I set up uh, specifically and you'll want to kind of confirm everything it looks right. You'll be able to change your wireless router name here, which is for me, it's going to be Detroit Lions. And then you can uh, set your passwords here for both 5 gigahertz and um, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And then I think once we save this, everything should be working. So we'll look on my um, handheld device and just make sure that we see those networks. All right, guys, so I do have the wireless router set up and I've got my speed test app open here. Now, I do want to say one quick thing is the interface, uh, the web interface to set up the network names and the passwords is pretty straightforward. I went ahead and changed all those and uh, then I went to apply the changes. And for whatever reason, the first time I hit apply, it didn't take. So I don't know if there were some software or firmware updates as well that it was applying, but I had to redo everything again and then I hit the apply and then it did take. So just uh, keep in mind if 
that you would probably do it twice if it's a brand new router like it is with mine. Now I do have it set up. I put it uh, in the central area of my house because I wanted as much coverage as possible and I did hardwire it to the router. So I do have like a hundred feet of Cat5 cable running to it. Now I've opened the speed test app here and I just want to see. Now I've gone to kind of the furthest corner, the furthest opposite corner from the router that I could get to and I'm on a different floor. So I just want to hit it and see what kind of speeds we get here uh, because that's going to really tell the tale of whether I can get to decent speeds anywhere in the house. Now I will tell you that my service here uh, is only 24 megabits from AT&T Uver. So uh, you know, kind of keep that in mind. AT&T Uber speeds are never quite what they advertise. Um, so I'm getting downloads of about seven and a quarter and uploads looks like uh, as much as four, four and a half there. So uh, I'm pretty happy with these speeds. Uh, I think that uh, for the most part, they, they should be pretty usable. And the good thing about it is I'm way in the corner. So I definitely like this router. I think you could probably strategically place it a little bit better. Maybe um, there are a couple of holes in the back so that it looks like you could potentially wall mount it. Uh, and so that's nice. But in terms of ease of setup, you know, I've tried some other wireless routers and they are just a bear. This one is really easy to set up. Uh, it's straightforward and it seems like the signal strength, as you can see up there in the corner possibly, you know, I'm getting full signal strength even though I'm at least 50 feet away from the router. So overall, very happy with it. I think it's a much better option than uh, just installing some of the repeaters that, you know, kind of gave me some spotty connections. Peter Von Panda, out!